the ragamuffin. Just by virtue of the name, it falls in the alphabet right after the Persian, which is nice, uh, because we still want to see some round flavors to the head structure. Um, but when it gets to the muzzle, it's a much different story. We want a little bit of a, a muzzle to fit on the head, whereas in the Persian, that muzzle has to fit into the smooth, round contour. And of course, the body completely different. A little bit of length to the body, even though we want the same mass as, as what we just saw. We want more body length here in the field of them. And of course, a different look. He's a three and a half year old premier. Really nice development in the body on him. And you can see his eye shape, instead of being round like the Persian, is round. He comes in abundance in, in abundance of colors. They all compete in the same color class. Uh, this breed has been with our association for, I guess, about eight or nine years. Uh, and, and when the breeders feel it's time to break them up into different color classes, where this solid white would be judged only against other solid colored cats, the tabby would be in a different color class. They'll come forward and uh, request permission to them. But right now, they want the competition. what I would call a rod eyed white. She's got two different colored eyes. Uh, in a show recently, I had a 12-year-old steward, and I forget her name, but I'll never forget what she said. She was looking in the cage, and she said, oh, look, look, that's a chromia. And I said, oh, no, that's a rod eyed cat. She said, I oh, know, that's what I just said. So uh, I learned that scientific term from a 12-year-old <laughs> rag doll. Um, when people come to shows, they come up and ask about two breeds. They want to know where are the Bengals and they want to know where are the rag dolls. Um, these cats are in all kinds of advertising. We see them on the covers of magazines all the time. Um, but when you see one in real life, they are, they leave all the, uh, the pictures in the dust. They're beautiful cats to look at. This phenomenal uh, coat texture. This guy's two and a half years of age, so he's going to be one of those fully mature uh, exhibits that we love to see. He's got the development going on in the body, a great coat texture, these abundant guard hairs that go with the lines of the cat. Uh, beautiful markings on him, too. We have to have a light that comes up uh, uh, to a certain level on each one of the legs. And this is the ideal markings for the head, this inverted bead that intersects those gorgeous blue balls. It's our ragdoll. This is Siberian. Simply put, this is a cat where the standard describes everything a cat would need to survive in Siberia. 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 <laughs> This is another one of those breeds where they all compete in the same color class. So that's why this uh, cameo mackerel tabby guy is competing head to head with a brown tabby.